Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. Two co-workers are discussing a project at a desk. B. A man is giving a presentation to a group. C. A group of people is attending a meeting in a conference room. D. A man is typing on a laptop while a woman is observing. The correct answer is D. A man is typing on a laptop while a woman is observing. Number 2. A. Two people are sitting on a bench in a garden. B. A group of people is attending a business meeting. C. Several people are jogging along the beach. D. A man is reading a book in a park. The correct answer is B. A group of people is attending a business meeting. Number 3. A. A group of students is attending a lecture. B. A family is shopping for groceries. C. A woman is walking her dog in the park. D. People are boarding a bus at the bus stop. The correct answer is A. A group of students is attending a lecture. Number 4. A. People are working at a construction site. B. An engineer is reviewing construction plans. C. A group of engineers is discussing a project in an office. D. A worker is giving instructions to a colleague. The correct answer is B. An engineer is reviewing construction plans. Number 5. A. A family is having a picnic at a park. B. A group of people is exercising in a park. C. A man is preparing a presentation for a meeting. D. A woman is sitting on a bench using her phone in a park. The correct answer is D. A woman is sitting on a bench using her phone in a park. Number 6. A. A man is giving a speech at a conference. B. Several people are walking along a beach. C. People are waiting for a train. D. Two restaurant workers are taking notes. The correct answer is D. Two restaurant workers are taking notes. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening, question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. What time are we expected to arrive? A. I'm taking the train. B. Around 6 p.m., traffic permitting. C. Expecting high participation. The correct answer is B. Around 6 p.m., traffic permitting. Number 2. Can you send me the contract? A. You'll get it tomorrow. B. It's being reviewed right now. C. Sure, I'll email it to you right away. The correct answer is C. Sure, I'll email it to you right away. Number 3. Do you know where my keys are? A. They are on the kitchen table. B. I haven't seen them. C. Check your bag. The correct answer is A. They are on the kitchen table. Number 4. When is the deadline for the application? A. I submitted mine yesterday. B. No, not yet. C. By the end of this month. The correct answer is C. By the end of this month. Number 5. Would you like me to help you with that? A. Yes, please. B. It's a sunny day. C. I already finished it.
The correct answer is A. Yes, please. Number 6. Which document do I need to sign? A. It was sent via email. B. The contract on your desk. C. I need more information. The correct answer is B. The contract on your desk. Number 7. Who will lead the team in the project? A. Sandra will. B. I prefer the blue one. C. Yes, it's possible to do that. The correct answer is A. Sandra will. Number 8. What time does the office close? A. I usually leave early. B. It closes at 6 p.m. C. Workloads are heavy at the end of the day. The correct answer is B. It closes at 6 p.m. Number 9. What time is your flight? A. It's a direct flight. B. I'm packing now. C. At 6 p.m. The correct answer is C. At 6 p.m. Number 10. When did you graduate from university? A. About two years ago. B. I'll attend the meeting. C. I majored in economics. The correct answer is A. About two years ago. Number 11. Where can I find the HR office? A. On the second floor. B. He will join the meeting. C. Yes, they sent an email. The correct answer is A. On the second floor. Number 12. Why did you miss the meeting? A. I was stuck in traffic. B. It's already finished. C. Next Monday. The correct answer is A. I was stuck in traffic. Great job so far. Next is part 3. Listening. Conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one. Have you completed the budget review for the new project? Almost. I need another hour. Great. We can go over it together after lunch. Sounds good. I'll see you at 1 p.m. When will they go over the budget review? A. After lunch. B. At 1 p.m. C. In an hour. The correct answer is A. After lunch. Number 2. Can you send me the sales report by Friday? Sure, I'll have it ready by Thursday night. Great. I'll review it on Friday morning and get back to you with any feedback. Sounds good. When will the woman review the sales report? A. Thursday night. B. Friday morning. C. Friday afternoon. The correct answer is B. Friday morning. Number 3. I need to reschedule my dentist appointment. You can call the clinic and ask for a different time. I'll do that right after this meeting. Hope you get a time that works for you. What is the woman planning to reschedule? A. Her dentist appointment. B. Her workout class. C. A lunch meeting. The correct answer is A. Her dentist appointment. Number 4. I'm thinking about organizing a team-building event next month. That sounds great. Do you have any ideas in mind? Yes. I thought we could have an outdoor activity like a picnic or a hiking trip. A picnic sounds like a wonderful idea. I'll start planning the details then. What kind of event are they discussing? A. A training session. B. A team-building event. C. A business seminar. The correct answer is B. A team building event. Number 5. I'm planning to work from home on Friday. Is that okay with you? Sure. Just make sure to be available online for the 10 a.m. conference call. Absolutely. I will. Great. Have a productive day at home. What time is the conference call? A. 
at 10 a.m., b. at 8 a.m., c. at 12 p.m. The correct answer is a. at 10 a.m. Number 6. Are you free to join the team lunch on Friday? Yes, but I have a meeting until 12.30. Perfect. We'll meet at the Bistro Cafe at 1 p.m. Sounds good. I'll see you then. What time is the team lunch on Friday? A. at 12 p.m. B. at 1 p.m. C. at 12.30 p.m. The correct answer is B. at 1 p.m. Number 7. Can we discuss the client feedback now? I'm heading out for lunch. Can it wait until later this afternoon? Yes, but we need to prepare our responses by the end of today. Let's set a time for 2 p.m. then. When will they discuss the client feedback? A. at 2 p.m. B. over lunch. C. later this afternoon. The correct answer is A. at 2 p.m. Number 8. Are you going to attend the webinar this afternoon? Yes, it's essential for our project. It starts at 2 p.m., right? Exactly. See you online. See you in line. See you then. When does the webinar start? A. at 2 p.m. B. at 1 p.m. C. this morning. The correct answer is A. at 2 p.m. Number 9. I need to book a flight to New York for the conference next week. Do you prefer a morning or an afternoon flight? Morning, please. It's better to arrive early. What time of the day does the man prefer to fly? A. In the afternoon. B. In the morning. C. At night. The correct answer is B. In the morning. Number 10. The projector in the conference room isn't working. Did you try restarting it? Yes, but it still won't turn on. I'll call the IT department to fix it right away. What problem are they discussing? A. Faulty microphone. B. Broken computer. C. Projector not turning on. The correct answer is... C. Projector not turning on. Number 11. Have you booked the flights for our business trip next week? Yes, I did it this morning. Great. Which airline are we flying with? We're flying with Delta, departing at 9 a.m. Which airline are they flying with? A. American Airlines. B. United. C. Delta. The correct answer is... C. Delta. Number 12. Can you send me the updated project timeline? I'm finalizing it now. I'll email it to you within the hour. Perfect. I need it for an update meeting this afternoon. I'll make sure you get it on time. When will the man receive the updated project timeline? A. Next week. B. Within the hour. C. By tomorrow morning. The correct answer is... B. Within the hour. Let's dive into part four. Listening talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Our annual charity run is set to take place this Saturday at 7 a.m. Participants are requested to register online before the event day. All proceeds will be donated to the local children's hospital. Thank you for your support. Where will the proceeds of the charity run be donated? A. Local children's hospital. B. Community Center. C. Animal Shelter. The correct answer is A. Local Children's Hospital. Number 2. Thank you for attending this safety briefing. In an emergency, please locate the nearest exit and follow the staff's instructions.
Emergency exits are clearly marked and located at the front and rear of the venue. Remain calm and do not use elevators during an evacuation. What should attendees do in an emergency? A. Follow the staff's instructions. B. Leave their belongings behind. C. Use the elevators. The correct answer is C. Follow the staff's instructions. Number 3. Hello, patrons. Our library will be introducing new extended hours starting next week. We will now be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays and from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekends. We hope these new hours accommodate your schedules better. When will the new library hours start? A. Next week. B. Next month. C. This week. The correct answer is A. Next week. Number 4. Dear guests, the hotel pool will be closed for maintenance until further notice. We apologize for the inconvenience and invite you to enjoy our other facilities such as the spa and fitness center. Thank you for your understanding. What facility is closed for maintenance? A. The hotel pool. B. The spa. C. The fitness center. The correct answer is C. The hotel pool. Number 5. Attention all passengers. The train to New York will depart from Platform 3 in 10 minutes. Please gather your belongings and walk towards the platform. If you require assistance, visit the information desk. Which platform will the train to New York depart from? A. Platform 3. B. Platform 5. C. Platform 1. The correct answer is A. Platform 3. Number 6. Attention shoppers. We are excited to announce a special 50% off sale on all winter apparel starting tomorrow. Don't miss out on the chance to update your wardrobe with our latest collection. Sale continues until stocks last. What is the discount rate for the sale? A. 25% off. B. 50% off. C. 30% off. The correct answer is A. 50% off. Number 7. Hello, everyone. Due to the upcoming holidays, our office will be closed from December 24th to January 2nd. Please make sure to complete any urgent tasks before the break. We wish you a happy holiday season. Baha Kubaka. When will the office be closed? A. December 23rd to January 1st. B. December 24th to December 31st. C. December 24th to January 2nd. The correct answer is A. December 24th to January 2nd. Number 8. We are pleased to offer a 10% discount on all services for senior citizens. This offer is valid at all our branches until the end of the year. Please present your ID at the reception to avail the discount. Thank you for choosing our services. Who is eligible for the 10% discount? A. New customers. B. Students. C. Senior citizens. The correct answer is A. Senior citizens. Number 9. Welcome to our customer service workshop. Today's session will cover best practices for handling customer complaints, improving communication skills, and ensuring customer satisfaction. Please take a seat and get ready to participate in group activities. What is the primary topic of the workshop? A. Customer service best practices. B. Sales strategies. C. Product training. The correct answer is a. Customer service best practices. Number 10. Welcome to our training session on workplace ergonomics. Today we will go over proper posture, desk setup, and stretching exercises. These practices will help prevent injuries and improve productivity. Let's begin with the basics of posture. 
What is the first topic of the training session? A. Desk setup. B. Stretching exercises. C. Proper posture. The correct answer is A. Proper posture. Number 11. Hello, students. Our science fair will be held next Friday in the main auditorium. Participants should arrive by 9 a.m. to set up their exhibits. The event will open to the public at 10 a.m. Don't forget to collect your participation certificates at the end. What time should participants arrive to set up their exhibits? A. 10 a.m. B. 9 a.m. C. 8 a.m. The correct answer is B. 9 a.m. Number 12. Don't miss our summer sale event. All items in store are up to 50% off until the end of the month. This is the perfect time to grab summer clothing, accessories, and more at unbeatable prices. Visit us now for the best deals. How long will the summer sale event last? A. Until the weekend. B. Until the end of the month. C. One week only. The correct answer is B. Until the end of the month. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush, just follow along, and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin! Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one, he apologized. The delay in sending the documents. A, on, B, with, C, for, D, two. The correct answer is C, four. Number two, he regrets. The opportunity to expand the business. A. Misses. B. Missing. C. Miss. D. To miss. The correct answer is B. Missing. Number three. The CEO expects the results. By next week. A. To be delivered. B. Being delivered. C. Delivered. D. Deliver. The correct answer is A. To be delivered. Number four. Would you mind? Me a hand with this task? A. To give. B. Gave. C. Give. D. Giving. The correct answer is D. Giving. Number five. They prefer. At home on weekends. A. To stay. B. Stays. C. Stay. D. Staying. The correct answer is D. Staying. Number six. The documents. Be signed by the end of the day. A. Can. B. Should. C. Could. D. Must. The correct answer is D. Must. Number seven. I'd prefer this task by myself. A. Doing. B. To do. C. Do. D. Did. The correct answer is B. To do. Number eight. The meeting. At 10 a.m. yesterday. A. Starts. B. Starting. C. Started. D. Will start. The correct answer is C. Started. Number 9. The results will fit. Tomorrow. A. Announce. B. Announced. C. Announcing. D. Be announced.
The correct answer is D. Be announced. Number 10. She is capable. Managing the entire team. A. With. B. In. C. Of. D. To. The correct answer is C. Of. Number 11. She insisted. Attending the meeting. A. 4. B. 2. C. On. D. In. The correct answer is C. On. Number 12. We expect the delivery. Next week. A. Arriving. B. Arrives. C. Will arrive. D. To arrive. The correct answer is D. To arrive. Next up is Part 6. Reading, text completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number 1. Attention! Due to the software update, all users must restart their computers. Modium! Ada, please save your work before proceeding. Thank you, I Department. A. Immediating. B. Immediately. C. Immediate. D. Immediates. The correct answer is B. Immediately. Number 2. To the team, please ensure all reports are By the end of the day, timely submissions are crucial to our project. A. Completes. B. Complete. C. Completing. D. Completed. The correct answer is D. Completed. Number 3. Please find Attach the Report for your review. Let us know if you have any questions. A. Month. B. Monthlies. C. Months. D. Monthly. The correct answer is D. Monthly. Number 4. The seminar scheduled for Friday has been Due to unforeseen circumstances, a new date will be announced soon. Thank you, management team. A. Canceling. B. Cancel. C. Cancelled. D. Cancellation. The correct answer is C. Cancelled. Number 5. Dear Mr. Johnson, thank you for your email. We are happy to confirm your order has been. You will receive your shipment within five business days. Sincerely, the sales team. A. Processor. B. Processed. C. Process. D. Processing. The correct answer is B. Processed. Number 6. Attention. All staff, the office renovation will begin next week. During this time, you will be required to work from home. Updates will be via email. Thank you, administration. A. Providing. B. Provided. C. Provision. D. Provide. The correct answer is B. Provided. And finally, Part 7, Reading, Reading Comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number 1. Dear residents, our building will undergo essential maintenance on the elevators from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Tuesday. Please use the stairs during these hours. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. Regards, Building Management. When will the elevator maintenance occur? A. This Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. B. Next Wednesday. C. Every Tuesday. The correct answer is A. This Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number 2. Dear Partners, 
we are excited to invite you to our annual business conference on October 20th at the Grand Hotel. This event will feature keynote speakers, networking opportunities, and industry insights. Don't miss out on this chance to connect and grow. What is the main event mentioned in the invitation? A. Product launch. B. Team building retreat. C. Annual business conference. The correct answer is C. Charity fundraiser. Number 3. Dear subscribers, we are thrilled to announce the launch of our new monthly magazine, Tech Trends. The magazine will cover the latest innovations and trends in technology. Subscribe now to receive the inaugural issue for free. Best, the editorial team. What is the main topic of this announcement? A. A change in publication schedule. B. A subscription price increase. C. The launch of a new magazine. The correct answer is C. The launch of a new magazine. Number 4. Dear customers, to improve our services, we will be conducting a survey from November 1st to November 15th. Your feedback is valuable to us, and participants will receive a 10% discount on their next purchase. Please check your email for the survey link. Thank you for your time and support. What is the incentive for participating in the survey? A. 10% discount on next purchase. B. Entry into a raffle. C. Free product samples. The correct answer is A. Priority customer service access. Number 5. Attention employees. This is a reminder that the annual performance review submissions are due by the end of this week. Please make sure to complete and submit your self-assessment forms through the HR portal. Your prompt response is appreciated. Regards. HR Department. What is the deadline for the performance review submissions? A. By the end of this week. B. End of the month. C. Next Monday. The correct answer is A. Tonight. Number 6. Dear subscribers, starting next month, we will be rolling out a Sumakisa. Amasitti. A new and improved version of our newsletter. This new format includes interactive elements and personalized content tailored to your interests. Stay tuned for more updates. Best newsletter team. What change is being announced? A. A price increase. B. A new format for the newsletter. C. A service shutdown. The correct answer is B. A merger with another company. Number 7. Effective immediately. We have implemented a new work-from-home policy to provide greater flexibility to our employees. This dischange is part of our ongoing efforts to support work-life balance and employee well-being. What new policy is being communicated? A. Work-from-home policy. B. Improved health benefits. C. Increased office hours. The correct answer is A. Work-from-home policy. Number 8. Attention all employees. The annual company retreat will take place from October 20th to 23rd. Please mark your calendars and stay tuned for more details about the schedule and location. We look forward to seeing everyone there. What is the announcement about? A. A scheduled system maintenance. B. An upcoming company retreat. C. A new hiring opportunity. The correct answer is B. An upcoming company retreat. Number 9. We would like to remind all employees that the annual performance review meeting will be held on Friday, October 10th in the main conference room. Please ensure to bring all necessary documents and completed self-evaluation forms. If you have any questions, contact HR. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To announce a new project. B. To remind employees of the performance review meeting. C. To inform about a holiday party.
The correct answer is B. To remind employees of the performance review meeting. Number 10. The Green Trail Marathon will be held on July 12th. Participants should register online by July 5th to secure their spots. The event will start at 7 a.m. from Pine Park and cover a distance of 21 kilometers. When is the deadline to register for the Green Trail Marathon? A. July 1st. B. July 5th. C. July 10th. The correct answer is B. July 7th. Number 11. 2. All staff. Subject. Fire drill. Notification. There will be a fire drill next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Please familiarize yourself with the evacuation routes and assembly points. Your participation is mandatory, safety officer. When is the scheduled fire drill? A. Tomorrow morning. B. Next Wednesday at 2 p.m. C. Friday afternoon. The correct answer is B. Next Monday at noon. Number 12. We are excited to inform you that our mobile app has been updated with new features and improvements. Download the latest version from the App Store or Google Play to enjoy the enhanced experience. What is being announced? A. A new product launch. B. An update to the mobile app. C. A website redesign. The correct answer is B. An update to the mobile app. Number 13. Dear Team. Our monthly meeting will be held next Friday at 10 a.m. in the main conference room. Please ensure you have your reports ready by then. We will also discuss the new project timelines and the upcoming corporate event. Regards, Management. What is the main topic of this email? A. A new holiday announcement. B. The scheduling of the monthly meeting. C. The venue for the corporate event. The correct answer is B. The scheduling of the monthly meeting. Number 14. Attention passengers. Due to extreme weather conditions, Flight 123 to New York has been delayed by three hours. The new departure time is 6 p.m. We advise passengers to stay updated for further announcements. We apologize for the inconvenience caused. What is the new departure time for Flight 1023? A. 6 p.m. B. 9 p.m. C. 3 p.m. The correct answer is A. 6 p.m. Number 15. Our offices will be closed for the holiday season from December 24th to January 1st. Please ensure that all projects are completed and submitted by December 23rd. We wish you a happy holiday season and a prosperous new year. What is the main reason for this announcement? A. To announce a new project. B. To notify about office closure during holidays. C. To change working hours. The correct answer is B. To notify about office closure during holidays. Number 16. Thank you for your continued support. We are conducting a customer satisfaction survey to gather feedback on our products and services. Your input is valuable to us, and we kindly ask you to complete the survey by May 30th. By when should the customer satisfaction survey be completed? A. April 30th. B. May 30th. C. June 1st. The correct answer is B. July 30th. Number 17. We regret to inform you that the concert scheduled for Sunday, December 5th, has been postponed due to unforeseen circumstances. A new date will be announced soon. Please keep your tickets as they will be valid for the rescheduled event. What has happened to the concert? A. It has been postponed. B. It is proceeding as planned. C. It is taking place earlier. The correct answer is A. It has been postponed. 
Number 18. Notice. The elevator in Building B will be under maintenance from October 1st to October 3rd. During this period, please use the staircases located at the north and south ends of the building. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and appreciate your understanding. What is the purpose of this notice? A. To inform about elevator maintenance. B. To promote staircase use. C. To announce a building closure. The correct answer is A. To inform about elevator maintenance.